Hi everyone. So good day. So here's an update on our mango tree pit project. I've lost track on how many days or weeks we've started, but yeah, we we have been working this for quite some time now. But yeah, no rush. It's a long-term project. <laughs> so we've already dug three feet deep. So we'll just have to widen the pit hole. Although I'm trying to, I'm starting to find rocks again. But it's all clay, no loam. So um, I'm kind of thinking the roots are going to go, eh, ain't going there. I'm going to go out the side if I can. Mm. So Tim has been working here for 30 minutes before I came out. Because I was peeling the what? Because <laughs> I was peeling the watermelon. And these are our waste. So that's the watermelon peel. And um sabalay palang daan we segregate our uh, we segregate our garbage. So the, waste. So these are the um kitchen waste that will be for good for the garden. So these are mostly the watermelon peel, but yeah. So I lalo na di mga um like eggshells like that okay let's start so this is what we've been doing so that's the mud cup there that team is digging so it's cemented on the earth so it's quite um hard so he has to chisel. Some of it is a conglomerate, which mm. is a bunch of stones glued together. Mm. In this case, from the, the the lava ash that's mixed with water, it makes kind of cement, mm. uh, natural cement. Um, hmm? So he'll be working on that area. And me on the other side. So this is not mud cup, so it's not as hard as the side where team is working. Actually, oh. it's it's still part of the mud cap, but it's not mud stone. Okay. So see if it starts to shake, that means it's ready to go. It's loosening. <laughs> Wow, now I know how the prisoners, the jailbirds in the early days. Then we segregate it. This is where the stones would go and the rubble's there. And then tell them what, what we do with the stones. The stones go to the driveway. <laughs> yeah, become road base for the driveway. Yep. Yes, and not all birds that make that sound are owls necessarily. There are birds that mimic the sound of other birds. For instance, Uh, yeah, uh, there's something, but it's not worth going to get. It's, it didn't say anything about California, anything. So, Looks like they didn't mail me one. Yeah, they're liars. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Well, I'll just, so I'll just throw it up there. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I was shooting for that. You need this bucket to fill up. So. Where in the bucket? Well, you're going to be working on this soon enough because that this hole's getting full of rubble. Are you ready to rumble? Another bee. There must be really something. Oh, there. we know where they're coming from. Yeah, this one or that. That yeah. mystery, if it is a mystery, <laughs> has been solved. When we first started digging, the ground cover were mostly, um, there were small rocks and the soil was a mixture of clay and sand. But after reaching two feet deep, that's the time we encountered a lot of mudstones and more bigger rocks. Mudstone is a fine grained sedimentary rock whose original constituents were clays or muds. So these are combinations of clays, muds, and some stones. And yeah, in time they got cemented and they got really um, compacted. Since it's a mango tree that we're planning to plant in this hole, um, and a mango tree can actually extend their root 20 feet deep and yeah so but the minimum requirement for them to bear fruit is at least three feet deep so at least we want to meet the minimum requirement but if we can go deeper yeah maybe we will so but yeah at least we just want to meet the minimum requirement of three feet deep and um the roots would usually if they can't go go any deeper they can just go sideways so that's why um, we are also working to make the hole wider so there will be more digging to do because we want to give the mango tree the enough space or room for them to grow and stabilize and since i'm digging mudstones here i'll just share some fun facts so mudstone is a sedimentary rock so i remember on my elementary years so we were taught that there are three kinds of rock right the sedimentary metamorphic and the igneous rock so mudstone belongs to the sedimentary rock um, these are types of rocks that are formed by the accumulation 
or deposition of mineral or organic particles at Earth's surface, followed by cementation. Um, cementation. So, yeah, and it is believed that about 75% of the surface area of the globe is covered by sedimentary rocks, whereas igneous and metamorphic rocks cover the remaining 25% area. So, mas daghan ang sedimentary rock, which 75%. So, mawde na siya nga pagdig na mo ubay-ubay jud ang mudstones. <laughs> That's some of the 75%. Mudstones form when um, very fine grain clay particles are deposited in water. Uh, they tiny particles settle to the bottom of oceans, lake floors, or lagoons, or even in quite stretch, um, stretches of rivers. As the mud is buried and compacted by overlying sediment, the water is squeezed out and it turns into mudstones. So, yeah, I think that's also why there's a lot of mudstones here because the Chico area or the northern california area has a lot of rivers creeks and some falls so maybe that's some from flooding from years ago million years ago